today I'm going to be showing you a speed paint of this um, digital drawing I did of my Wings of Fire OC Scarab. This is me trying to figure out what drawing I would like to do. Either I wanted to pose with a hand or not. This is where I finally figured out the final pose I wanted my dragon to be in. Scarab is around six years old, which means she's she was around the <laughs> sorry. She's around the age of the Dragonettes of Destiny in the first series. You can just see me putting down the finalization of the pen. I was thinking about doing a tail, um, but then I decided against it since it kind of intruded on that blank piece of paper. I did want like a bit of blank space to work on the background a bit better. Her wings are a bit angular. That's the only thing I'd say I didn't really enjoy about her design, but you know, she ain't perfect. Nothing's perfect in this world. Um, she's a Nightwing um, hybrid, but nobody really knows what hybrid she is. I mean, I don't even know myself, and I'm the creator, so I really won't be able to tell you. She does not have mind reading or prophecy powers, even though she does have the little teardrop by her eye. Um, she was not born under any of the moons, so she doesn't really have any special abilities. This is me trying to decide on a background. I mean, at first I went for a kind of like mottled, getting darker at the edges look, but it was really hard to draw on top of and tainted the colours of my drawing. Um, she's really pretty. Um, I haven't quite found out a lover for her, but I really want to, so that's another thing I'm hoping to do at some point in the future. She has a turquoise-ended snout with purple fading up it, um, which makes her look very pretty. She has, like, purple and turquoise accents. So, you know. The blending here was a bit hard to do, to be honest. Because um, uh, it kept on just taking the background and blending that in, too. Um, so I tried to rub out the background where she was, and boy, the colour changed of the things. So then I just rubbed out the entire background and decided to go from just a light purple base because something I figured out in um, digital drawing is that if you're drawing um, with a colored base it's better because if you're just drawing with white you're gonna end up with gaps in between your um, your colors and you're not really gonna rec realize it um, and then you'll end up with when you try to add a background you'll end up with Part, bits of colour coming through your drawing it's just something I've picked up over the years um, she's a very sweet lady she has a very kind personality um, I would like her to fall in love with a dragon from another tribe um, so yeah um, in case you didn't hear me before her name is Scarab um, like the Scarab Beetle which is what I chose her colour palette off of um scarab beetles are kind of iridescent so they'll have purple and green and black you know um i did try to give her a cut eyebrow but it really just wasn't working so i got rid of that um so yeah um i did kind of use an excessive amount of blending in this project because i just made a lot a lot of the time she does a lot of faded colors and stuff she's quite a hard dragon to draw actually um so she's kind of a bit of an annoying dragon to draw because of all the kind of fades she's this is me trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with the background um i really like the light rays i figured out doing so that was fun um i kind of just gave up on that though and went for a more flower scheme with fainter light rays so it's um, as you can see, I removed the line work for this bit just because the blending tool on my 
digital drawing app will blend in the color of the lines and I really didn't want that so I would just use the blending tool to um, blend out most things. She has like a light purple underbelly with like turquoise accents and stuff. She, I always draw my dragons with this little frill at the top of their head so that's something unique about my style. Um, this is me trying to do the wings. I did have to use two entire separate layers just to do the rings. The wings, sorry. The wings are the hardest part of doing a dragon, especially if they're faded in color like hers. Because, um, my god, were these hard. <laughs> it was almost impossible, and it almost broke me. But yeah. She's a lovely lady, and I love her very much. She has these interesting, like, trinkets and stuff. Her ears and horns. She doesn't have any your, like jewelry per se. Um, the light is really hard for this because she's a black dragon and it looked a little bit weird at first. So, you know. Um so yeah. And she has glasses. Lovely little little bit there. So yeah, that's my dragon scarab. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.